did my whole speech about how I need subs to get the stream going if you like the content, blah, blah, blah. How that results in zero subs. There are regulars here. Five dollars a month. How are you have hours of time to watch me and not five dollars? I don't know. What are you doing with your life where you have hours of time to watch Twitch and not five dollars to provide for the content that you're watching? Because it's like people just really have no, they really don't respect me as a content creator. Well, this Parasite's right about one thing, nobody respects her as a content creator. Now, I'm not going to mention this streamer by name because I'm pretty sure she loves negative publicity. She does fucked up shit all the time just to get her name out there. She subscribes to the idea that all publicity is good publicity, but fails to realize that when you as a person are your own brand and rely on people liking you for money, having a negative public image literally fucking ruins you. And this one is definitely bigger than she anticipated because no one likes someone this shamelessly greedy. She is a streamer who runs political talk shows, but the majority of the stream is spent begging and shaming people into giving her money. And it's some of the most pathetic shit I've seen on Twitch. And I've seen a lot of pitiful sad shit on Twitch. I saw a man finger his butthole for a $20 donation on Twitch. And I still have more respect for that than I do her. At least him sticking his fingers in his asshole was more fun than all of her streams combined. And somehow him putting nearly his whole fist in his chocolate starfish was still classier than any of this girl's streams. At least he had the decency to not shame the viewers into giving him $20 for sticking fingers up his brown balloon knot. He wasn't on stream going, uh, hello, you broke cheap ass viewers, I'm sitting here with my beautiful asshole goat seed into the camera, and nobody's giving me $20, my speech about giving me $20 and I'll finger my asshole, didn't give me any money, uh, what the fuck is wrong with you? He was very simple about it, he's like, you know what, $20 and I'll finger this asshole right here. You don't have to do it, but if you do, I'll fucking finger myself. And that's how it went. She's over here making a whole song and dance about it, making everyone just feel fucking uncomfortable, and she feels so entitled to their money. Which she absolutely doesn't deserve, she provides no value whatsoever. You might as well just flush five dollars down a toilet. That's more value than giving it to this girl. Expecting blah blah blah. Like, how do you think, how are you consuming this free entertainment? Like, how do you think free entertainment is available to you? It's because other people actually provide money so you can be a cheap ass. That's it. Other people provide money because they're, they're generous and they, they see like a thing that they want to support, a form of entertainment they want to support, and then you leech. But don't, don't it, that's the reality of it, period. Period. If you're watching Twitch as a non-donating, non-sub, you are leeching. Does that mean that you should feel bad about it? I don't know. But the reality is that you are leeching. Such a laughable sense of entitlement, especially when she has no talent at all. Also, she's not making zero dollars from viewers that watch her for free. Twitch itself places an ad at the beginning of your stream, so when someone clicks on your stream, you're getting money just from that click. And I'm pretty sure she plays ads throughout her streams, which also gets her money from viewers that aren't donating or subbing to her. So I don't know why the fuck she thinks she possibly has the right to complain about not getting an extra $5 from people that either can't afford to or just don't want to because she isn't earning that $5. And she absolutely isn't earning that $5. All she does is insult the chat. She doesn't provide anything at all of value, and I'm pretty sure she hates streaming and only does it to just try and get money out of viewers or guilt them into giving her money which is super shitty i'd say 95 percent of all streamers myself included i stream daily on twitch at twitch.tv slash moist critical come stop by if you want to put a few extra inches on your penis i'd say 95 percent of all streamers do it just because they love streaming i know i do I, I don't think the majority of streamers are going around just constantly begging for subs and donations but i know there definitely are a few her being the biggest culprit but I'd say the majority of streamers aren't like that. Chat! I haven't got a donation or a sub for an hour. What the fuck? For an hour? What the fuck? An hour when I fucking working for free? What the fuck? What a horrible, embarrassing perspective for someone to take on something like this. She has the worst possible attitude. I'm not going to go into her disgusting past. She's done a lot of really fucked up shit and said some fucked up shit. But just this perspective of hers that she is so adamant about where if you are not paying her, you are a piece of shit. 
She calls you names, she calls you out by your screen name if she sees you're not subbed. She is the most standoffish, unlikable person on that platform. And it's gotta be kind of embarrassing to be a subscriber to this girl because she's openly hostile and doesn't give a fuck about it. Only there to siphon $5 out of your wallet every month because she feels entitled to it, as if you're just holding her money for her because you flip on her stream to fall asleep to it once every three months. But yeah, this narcissist is probably the greediest person on Twitch. She's like the Mr. Krabs of streaming, but not nearly as cool as Mr. Krabs because she has a shitty personality, a horrible attitude, and the worst perspective on things on that entire platform. And the reason why this is getting retweeted and liked so much is because she's an attractive woman who didn't act like a nice person, which is what makes frust sexually frustrated incels angry. Woman not acting, woman out of her place, me mad. Yeah, this hero decides to make it an issue about her being a woman, despite the fact that that is irrelevant to why people don't like it. It's because people don't like someone that says shit like that and it is that greedy and that disrespectful and that entitled. It has nothing to do with her being a woman. But this guy's trying to score some of those brownie points. Oh, streamer, please look at me fight for you on Twitter. Please let down your long hair so I may take my $5 and climb up and woo you over. It's also really cute that Mike over here decides to call everyone that disagrees agrees with her perspective in incel when he himself is like the fucking king of incels check out his first interaction with the streamer that's fine i think that's fine so if a guy pays for my tab i think they i'm just i'm i'm getting your attention i feel like i touched like uh, a vampire touching holy water can i help you i think they want to go in okay whoa there mike i think you made her a little too wet with that alpha energy yeah, man, you've definitely got a lot of room to be tossing the word incel around, eh? With game like that? What a fucking player. Great work, Mike. There are people sticking up for her, of course. Buyer's remorse, they've already paid for the subscription and now they feel like they need to justify it to everyone in the world. Like what you like, like who you like, it's totally fucking fine. But there's very clear reasons why people don't like what she said that have nothing to do with her being a woman, Mike. It has to do with her attitude and her disrespect and that sense of entitlement that she thinks everyone has to fucking pay her to watch her and then she guilts them into it and shames them and makes them fucking feel bad and attacks them for it, which is wrong, Mike. It's just fucking wrong and it's shitty. It's a bad look and it's pathetic. But anyway, yeah, that's about it. So yeah.